Okay, hands off now, look. Legs off, hands off. That's everything. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Thai Auto News. In this video, I'll be reviewing the 2024 Ford Everest Platinum V6, which is the top variant in the Ford Everest lineup in Thailand. But before watching the video, please consider supporting our channel. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be notified when we have a new car review. And if you're watching through Facebook, hit that like and follow button to be Updated with our latest content from Thailand. Thank you very much. The Everest Platinum V6 was first introduced in Thailand as a limited edition version in March this year with just only 350 units, but it was quickly sold out. And even though Ford staged another promotion with another 300 units. Again, it was sold out. So in September this year, the American automaker decided to make this model a regular model in the Ford product lineup in Thailand. Okay, let's check out the exterior design of the Everest Platinum V6. This one comes with the platinum exterior package, which is really elegant looking. You can see the platinum lettering on the gym compartment lid. The highlight of this platinum package, which is offered both exterior and interior, is this silk chrome finishing. Looks really awesome. This is the adaptive matrix LED headlights with adaptive glare-free. Moving on to the side. We've got a V6 badging, which is uh, highlighted in silk chrome as well. Here is the 21-inch alloy wheels fitted with 275-45 tires, which are definitely on-road, so uh, we'll, <laughs> we won't be doing any off-roading in this review. Moving on to the back end, LED tail lights flanking the platinum lettering on this. Electrically powered tailgate. There's also a built-in roof spoiler at the rear, plus a shark fin antenna. On the roof, you get glossy black styling, roof rails, as well as a large panoramic moon roof that also comes with a wind deflector. The interior features the black and silk chrome platinum styling theme. We've got some nice stitching on all three rows of seats. Here are the third row seats, making this a seven-seater SUV platinum logo on the front seats. Huge 12-inch center screen. This is the transfer case. You can also select the drive modes as well. We've got 4 high, 2 high, as well as 4A, which uh, performs like uh, an all-wheel drive vehicle, switching to four-wheel drive only when necessary. Over there are two cup holders with the 10-speed electronic shifter transmission. The driver display, 12.4 inch. Fully color, really nice. Look at the graphics. And uh, whenever you choose a special drive mode, there'll be corresponding graphics on the driver display, even for the off-road uh, information as well. The Everest Platinum V6 comes with on-road tires, so for off-roading, you'll need to switch to all-terrain or mud-terrain tires to make the most out of its 4x4 system. 
The upholstery is a mix of genuine and synthetic leather. Both front seats come with 10-way power adjustment. And apart from the perforations, they also come with ventilation, both a heating and cooling function. So really good for country like Thailand. The driver's seat also comes with easy entry exit along with memory for three people. While the front seats are kind of sporty and snug, the second row and third row seat backrest, as you can see, <laughs> pretty flat. And uh, the seat cushion can be moved forward and backwards. The seat backrest can be folded. But in my point of view, I think the tumble style uh, seats are easier to get in and out. In the back, you've got buttons to electrically fold the third row seats, which is uh, really nice and smooth, resulting in a rather flat storage area so you can increase the storage a lot in this Everest from 259 liters to 1800 liters with the second and third row seats folded the top half of the door panel is soft touch front console also lots of soft touch with two storage compartments and you also get a very high quality sound system from Van Alvesen the Ford Everest Platinum V6 comes with several features that aren't available in other brands and models and here's uh, one of them, Zone Lighting, really uh, useful at night. As well as Active Park Assist. The Everest is the only PPV in the market with parking assist so very helpful for a large SUV like this when you have to park in tight parking spaces so what you have to do is press P over here and then select parking assistance and then I'm gonna do parallel parking in front so on the left so turn on the left signal and let's drive it will uh, inform me when there's a uh, an empty spot okay got the one I want so shift into N and then press the P button continuously Okay, hands off now, look. Legs off, hands off. It does everything. And it the gear position changes by itself as well. Look at the gear lever. Sup. Okay, done. Okay, let's check out the back seats. Okay, the driver's seat is adjusted to my height. I'm a six footer, and result is uh, I've got decent leg room. Headroom not so much uh, due to the mechanism for the large panoramic sunroof over here. Let's check out the headrest. Okay, so this is my seating position at the back. Uh, rather short armrest over here, so... Uh, <laughs> this much of my forearm is uh, hanging over here. There's a cup holder over here which is nice but again uh, this armrest is really short should be a bit longer over here would be great uh, adjustment for the backrest not too much mm. apart from the AC outlet to USB this is the controls for the AC, the rear AC with roof fence on top. So two left and right as well as two more at the rear. And this is also another special. You've got uh, 
rear seat heater as well. Back pouches, left and right. And uh, the door panel also uh, a lot of soft touch area, top half. Nice. In terms of powertrain, the 3 liter V6 turbo diesel in the Everest Platinum is capable of pumping out a class leading 250 horsepower at 3250 rpm as well as whopping 600 newton meters of torque from 1750 to 2250 rpm this is like class leading engine and the best thing is that uh, it's really smooth this v6 diesel turbo from ford it's not a totally new engine uh, having been introduced uh, first in 2018 i believe in europe so uh, over the years it's surely been uh, improved uh, in terms of reliability being around for a while means that all these small small mistakes can be uh, corrected already by now the engine is made it to a smooth shifting 10-speed automatic transmission featuring e-shifter although uh, there aren't any uh, shift pedals on the steering wheel uh, the shift pedals are reserved for the Raptor models I guess the large amount of torque benefits not only uh, off-road driving but uh, highway driving as well the acceleration is really good Let's see uh, 100 kilometers per hour step on it three two one go it's like an endless flow of torque 140 150 already still keeps on going I'm not sure about the clean top speed of the Everest uh, Ford has a policy of not uh, disclosing the top speeds of their products I think globally so I think only country that will have the top speed of the uh, cars shown in the specs is Germany but with the 250 horsepower V6 turbo diesel engine in this Everest Platinum V6 I'm sure it can achieve a top speed of at least 180 190 kilometers per hour for sure okay I've got a empty stretch up front cruising speed 105 let's step on it three two one go 120 130 140 150 160 170 traffic I've got a lift 180 okay got to 180 so yeah perhaps perhaps 190 for sure if lucky maybe 200 not sure about that but yeah the large amount of torque keeps pushing 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 this Everest while accelerating I must say that this v6 turbo diesel from Ford is definitely the smoothest diesel engine in the Thai PPV market this is like the equivalent of German diesel engines in terms of noise and smoothness as well as torque I mean 600 Newton meters of torque is a, I mean you'll never get that from a Japanese manufacturer I'm cruising at a hundred ish kilometers per hour and I can hardly hear the engine at all and uh, you have the same experience when driving this uh, Everest V6 at low speeds, at low, uh, low revs, uh, you hardly hear the engine. So very quiet cabin, no in diesel rattle at all in this Everest. This engine passes the Euro 5 emission standards and will require AdBlue. Uh, there will be a reminder on the driver display, I think it's every 11,000 kilometers. Uh, you can also check uh, the remaining distance before you have to put in more AdBlue uh, in the driver display. 
The suspension comprises of double wishbones, coil springs, and stabilizer up front, while the rear suspension setup comprises of a uh, watts link, which is really good stuff, as well as coil springs and stabilizer. So, no leaf springs in this uh, PPV at all. The suspension of the Everest offers a highly comfortable ride 90% of the time. You won't be able to tell this is a pickup base suspension. And the only time that uh, it'll start showing some pickup characters is only very deep potholes or large crack on the road, large dip, then okay. Uh, there's a little uh, rebounding that reminds you this is a <laughs> pickup base SUV. I'm driving on some poor road conditions right now and it's still uh, comfortable, this suspension. Compared to the Isuzu Mew X I just drove for earlier this year, uh, that one's all very comfortable, very soft suspension. But with this Everest, I think uh, you do get that kind of softness, but also uh, a good amount of firmness from this uh, suspension. Topping power comes from disc brakes, both front and rear, providing a pretty solid feel. I think the pedal feel is kind of firm. So it feels kind of a luxury as well. Okay, that wraps up our review of the 2024 Ford Everest Platinum V6. If you enjoyed the video, please support our channel by hitting the follow button on Facebook as well as the subscribe button on YouTube. That's all from me from Thailand today. Sadi crap. <laughs>